So I created an equation for success. <laughs> so those who know me, I have a first degree in mathematics and I often, you know, see life through the lens of equation in terms of what are the strategies, personal strategies and approach to life that would help us achieve success faster. So this is my attempt to uh, break down the different components of what it would take you to achieve success in any new area. It's what I call the equation for success. Okay. So I do have a first degree in mathematics, a BSc in mathematics. So I always feel like when you are tackling a complex scenario, a complex issue, if you can break it down to its different components, then we can start designing our approach strategies um, towards moving ourselves uh, to achieve progress. So let me break it down for you. So here's what I <laughs> here's what I came up with: that success requires a couple of components. If you're attempting to achieve something that you've never done before, right? How do you approach it? So success to me means your ability to set a goal and achieve your goals, whether it's business goals, personal goals, uh, professional goals, right? So the first component is information. Um, I call this the how to, right? Is that we have to feed our minds with information of how to navigate a new space, how to fish, how to fly a plane. And the lack of how to information is what I believe results in what people talk about imposter syndrome. What I teach is that you need to see imposter syndrome almost like a tourist. You know, if you're a tourist in a new city that you, you don't live in, you've never been in, and your mind is kind of trying to figure out how to navigate that space is because the mind does not have enough information how to, you know, why, right? There's a lot of questions in the mind that the mind doesn't have answers to, to navigate that space. And the solution for imposter syndrome is to ask questions. Whenever you move into a new space, so whether it's being an entrepreneur, in business, a new job, a new location, is that we have to feed our minds with how to, how to achieve success, how to move around, how to do the job, right? And information is one of those things that you want to gather the how to and then proceed forward to skill, right? Because even when we have how to, okay, even when we have how to, it doesn't mean that we know how to do it, right? So the first step is feeding our minds with enough information that we now have a level of comfort, that we know what we need to do. The next step is how do you do it? Developing the skill, training our, 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 our body to be able to function and do the job. Skill development happens over a period of time through repetition and practice right? This is where execution comes in is you get the information of how to, but then you need to practice. You, you need to actually um, do this with your hands, do this with your body, train yourself to be able to perform a function. Okay. Again, we're talking about success. How do you achieve success? And when I finish explaining this entire equation, I'm going to also give you examples of how you can use this equation for yourself. Okay, so skill development is important because over time, you're going to gain experience. That's why I say skill development times experience, because experience only develops over time. Skill improves over time. You can train yourself to perform at a higher level. You can start from zero and through repetition and practice at anything you will improve. That's the way we are as humans. We will improve. But what people do unfortunately do is, you know, don't give up. People give up before they've trained themselves, right? That, that takes what people talk about, you know, fail fast, right? I say learn fast is that if you know you're in training, you can learn fast because when you become a master and develop skill, you will not fail. 
you will achieve your goal. You will be able to do it. But when you've not attained mastery level, when you've not developed skill, whether it's sales, marketing, all of these things, when you've not developed skill, really your attempts, your initial attempts may not get you the results you are, you desire. Okay. So this is applicable in business. And I'll give you examples as I shared um, once I finish explaining this equation that I came up with and designed. Okay. So skill development times experience is, is a factor that helps us achieve success in any area. Now, a trick, if you want to accelerate success, is you can borrow other people's experience. This is what successful people learn how to do, is that someone that, that spent the last 10 years mastering a particular skill, right? They spent 10 years to learn the skill. This is where judgment call comes in. Do you now want to invest 10 years to learn it, or do you pay and bring in that expertise to help you accelerate achieving success? So once you understand this fundamental equation, you can then start saying, okay, from a strategic play, from a judgment call, how long is it going to take me to develop the skill? Do I want to tap in? Do I want to bring somebody else that has already developed the skill to help me achieve this goal faster? Or is this something that I believe I actually need to learn long term for myself? Again, judgment call. Last part of this equation is what I call personal leadership. Okay. It's actually why I designed the game plan 12 strategies for winning in business and life at the academy, the entrepreneurs academy. It's because even when you have information how to, right, and you've developed skill, if you're lacking in confidence, character, or strategic communication, it can still lead to failure. So, for example, this is an example, a classic example. You know how to drive a car. You know the how-to. You've trained yourself. You know how to drive a car. But if you're lacking a character, you can wreck yourself pretty much, right? Is that personal leadership is guaranteeing yourself that you can lead yourself on that journey to success, right? Is that we can discipline ourselves. We can develop the confidence to show up every day to do what it takes Right, Because even when you have skill and you have information and you have experience, if you are lacking in confidence or character or communications, right, if we still don't develop those disciplines and lead ourselves, it's very difficult for us to lead in the marketplace. So this is very important to me. Okay. So now let's put the equation to test. <laughs> right. So let's say you want to... Um, build a business, a million dollar business. Let's just give an example. If that's what you want to achieve, you want to, you desire to achieve success in building a multi-million dollar business. Just, I don't know if that's your desire, but let's say you want it. If you put that through this equation, the question is, how do you do it? Those who have achieved it before, you need to seek out, you need to now pursue learning. What did they do that you can learn from? This is the wise approach to success, right? Is coming at it from, okay, I'm not the first person to attempt this, right? How do I gather information, the how to information? But you don't want to stop there, right? You don't want to stop to how to, so you need to read books, go to seminars, access, you know, resources. The Entrepreneurs Academy is there to support you. You need that level of information, right? And then the second step is, okay, what does it take? What skills is required to actually build that business? And you need to put yourself on the path for those skills. Because if you have how to, and you don't know the experience level and the skills that those who have achieved it leverage, how they develop themselves, right, to achieve that, you need to now pursue to train yourself, right? Because one thing I say is, to build a multi-million dollar business, you actually have to borrow and develop a multi-million dollar mindset because you will create that for yourself. You are the one to create that reality for yourself. You need information skills and then you're going to lead yourself because how those who have done it show up every day to their business is not the same way of those who are not on that journey. So that's just an example of how to leverage this equation I designed again. For me, it's about strategy. It's about approaching life through this lens so that we know what journey we are on and we have tangible ways of achieving that 
that um, that goal as well. So I want to know what you think about this equation. I really do want to know what you think. What did it resonate for you? Any questions, contribution, thoughts, please do comment and, and let me know. And also, I invite you to the Entrepreneurs Academy. We have tons of resources, um, really. And I, I just, this is just an incredible space that over the years I've put together business development resources uh, that will help you develop the skills that you need to achieve business growth and success. And my own personal favorites. Um, on the platform is this section called the top post. This is really um, a accumulation of what people are reading because we have hundreds of resources on this platform from workbooks to courses, over 30 courses, um, hundreds of news newsletters out there. So it just helps me know what people are accessing and the top insights, uh, the top resources that they are tapping into as well. So yes, Come join us. Go head over. You need to head over to towingumessery.academy. This is a community and a school for entrepreneurs. And here you're going to learn how to build, grow, and scale your business. The reason those three stages of business growth is important is because some are at the build phase of their business, meaning you're new to entrepreneurship. You want to develop the skills. Some are in terms of the structuring, the growth phase where you have the right foundation for your business and you're tapping into business growth strategies and then the skill phase when it comes to automation next level. So all of those three approaches and strategies are in place for you. I served as a strategist for Fortune One. So at the end of the day, supporting the biggest brands in the world, those are the skills I bring to the table for you, for my clients, for my members, really for us to accelerate achieving our business growth and success. So thank you. My name is Toyin. You may see, feel free to call me Coach Toyin. I teach and train entrepreneurs to achieve business growth and success. I also work with government stakeholders to advance economic development. So See you soon.